I have been growing geraniums uh, competitively uh, since I was, uh, well, since 1946. <laughs> Uh, and, and so this has been a passion of mine for many, many years. Two questions come to mind. One was where do we get the plants, which we just addressed, and that's at our, our big show on April 25th. And the other is how in the world do you create such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flower? Well, normally it's left up to bees. And it's always been that way. Bees and flowers have an affair. And it's always recognized. Now, man has stepped in and thinking that he can do and control and change anything. There's a right way and a wrong way. Now, the way man normally does it, <laughs> he or she goes out with a little tiny camel's hairbrush, sables, uh, sables hairbrush, and dabbles at the plant. Now, you think the plant likes that? No, it, it's different than a bee. It's, they don't want a great big ugly person dabbling with their fancies. It just doesn't work. Now, as I mentioned, I've been doing this since 1946, and I'm an expert. I, I'm bilingual. I speak both English and geranium. What I do, now you don't, you don't want to, you know, scare the heck out of poor geranium. So what you have to do, <laughs> scare the heck out of your neighbors, but that's you, all right. you really have to think about your okay. appearance when you go out and, uh, and, and talk to your plants. Now my greenhouse, when I go out there and they they see me coming, they're happy to see me. They relate to me as they as as I were, if I were a bee. Well, obviously, you've got to get the rest of the guard on. You're not a vector, are you? <laughs> so get the mosquito guys out of here first. Now, when I show up in the greenhouse, dumb. I'm accepted. And we, we are able to create beautiful plants like Lady Carmichael as a result of the tremendous cooperation that I get. <laughs> Now, I, don't Arnold's use, be I don't use a little <laughs> sissy brush because I know, speaking geranium to these folks, that what really matters, size matters. <laughs> so using the right equipment, I've been able to create Lady Carmichael. You've, you've had 46 years to work on this, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing, uh, Supervisor Dickinson. Uh, I've always enjoyed life, and life is too short not to have a whole hell of a lot of fun. And that's exactly what's happening throughout Carmichael on our, on our 100th birthday is that we're just having one hell of a lot of fun. That's great. And so please come join us in our celebration. And thank you so very, very much for allowing us to come and present Lady Carmichael to you. Don't take the goggles off. <laughs> Don't take them off. Okay. <laughs>